The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills recently celebrated their 10 year anniversary. Yeah. In 10 years, they haven't seen nearly as much diversity. You have, you were part of the franchise and on that cast. What does it mean to bring that flavor and color to the Real Housewives? It means everything. It means everything. I mean, we are in every zip code, so why can't we represent that on Beverly Hills? So it means everything to be the first. It means everything to sort of break barriers. And it's been, some of it has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll always keep it real. Some of it fun, some of it not so much. We are celebrating music. Music brings people together. It's been a tough year, and music is one of the ways we lift our spirits. So what has been a go-to song for you this year to listen to when you need Ooh. a pick-me-up? You know, um, what I've been doing is, I have to say, D-Nice saved me during quarantine. There were days that it was hard. There were days that I was like, what am I going to do? I've already cleaned every closet. Um, so with him, he really saved me. So D-Nice, I mean, hats down to him. Hats off for him. So you are so busy. The Real, Real Housewives, your podcast. How is it going to be now, your sophomore season, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, yeah. without Denise Richards? Oh, girl, I am really bummed about it. I don't know how it's going to be because we haven't started shooting. But I'm going to miss her. I mean, I'm going to miss her on the franchise. We'll always be friends and see each other. But... It's going to be a little different. I don't know who's going to be my ally. Yeah. Yeah. We're definitely going to miss her. And the fans are, you know, they really supported her. So they're going to miss her as well. So listen, you know, um, Julissa mentioned the real and how great you're doing. Um, Thank you. We, you know, we root for you. What is that like? This is not your first time back in the talk, you know, in the talk show realm. But what's that like blending, melding with those ladies over there? And, and how hard are you all rooting for Jeannie? Uh, on Dancing with the Stars. Oh my God, we're rooting for her like nobody's business. I am like voting like it was me on there. Um, <laughs> it's been really seamless. You know, I've known the girls obviously because I've, you know, guests went on their show and, um, but it's been really cool getting to know them a lot more. Lonnie is not a morning person. Don't talk to her in the morning. <laughs> um, but it's been really great. I mean, I wish we were in studio, but we're making the best of it. And, uh, the commute is from upstairs to downstairs for me, so I can't complain. <laughs>